Why does it hurt when a relationship ends? Why do rebounds really work? And why is it almost always a bad idea to get back with an ex? No. Well, grab a drink, take a seat, because I have an analogy for you. Hi. Hi, hello. You see, when you meet someone new and you say hi to them, that's a touch. And anything you touch, touches you back. An exchange happens. And when they say something you aren't expecting, that's friction. And when that friction makes you change your mind or you consider something in a different light, that's a scratch. We all grew up under different cultures. Our specific familial ones and the societal ones. And every day, we bump into people who are not like us. And in every interaction we have with them, that's that friction. It's just that sometimes you don't notice it because we all have different thresholds for what our brain registers as friction. But the more times we spend with someone, anyone, the more we keep scratching each other. We adapt each other's habits, we take on each other's language, and we accumulate shared memories, secrets, and in-jokes. Until eventually, all those scratches calcify into grooves. Grooves that make those minds fit so perfectly into each other precisely because they are created by each other. And then the relationship becomes easier, or at least familiar, because now it's running mostly on rails. And then eventually, the relationship will come to an end. Because most relationships end. That is harsh. Sometimes they end for admin reasons. One partner wants to have kids and the other doesn't. Sometimes they end because of a conflict in values. And other times, as is the case with most successful relationships, death is what brings the relationship to an end. Breakups feel hard because those grooves that were formed no longer serve a purpose. The grooves were created to fit into each other, to slip and slide. But without each other, they're just indentations without a purpose. So of course we miss that part, we miss the other half and we get this drive to fill that space with something else. We want to get the grooves into something and something into the grooves so it doesn't feel so useless. And this is where rebounds come in. Because then we meet someone new and we think, great, this person will slide right in and make the grooves feel useful again. But of course it won't really feel useful, at least not in the long term, because this new person very likely has completely different grooves and their grooves will perfectly fit into ours. And soon enough, we'll get frustrated, or they'll get frustrated, and the rebound will implode. This is the same reason why it's so tempting to get back with an ex. But of course, whatever the reasons were for the initial breakup, those reasons are still there, and eventually they'll come back, and we'll be right back to where we started. It's true. Grooves, like minds, like bodies, heal. Although depending on how deep they go, they heal differently. So the grooves from a two-month relationship, for example, might heal over completely. There might still be scars, but no indentations. While a two-decade relationship will still have indentations even after it's healed over. Healing means that when you meet someone new, you're not trying to get them to fit into the grooves left over from your last relationship. Instead, you are creating friction, scratching each other, and creating new grooves that are unique to the new relationship you're trying to create with each other. Of course, this is an analogy. And like all analogies, it's imperfect. If you've been around this channel for a while, you probably know that I have a love-hate relationship, let's say, with analogies. I made a video about how immigration is a good analogy for creating new ideas. And I made a different video about how the jigsaw analogy it's a bad one for relationships. You can watch both right after this. And if you have your own analogies for relationships or breakups, let me know in the comments down below. My name is Al Ibrahim, and I make videos about relationships, creativity, and personal development. If this sounds like something you might be interested in, like and subscribe so the algorithm knows that this is some good shit.
So I asked my friend Jillian about an analogy for relationships and immediately she was like rocks, two rocks banging into each other and causing bits and pieces to chip off and expose parts that were never before seen. And I mean, I can I give it that? 